I'm going to talk about how the chords are connected and uh, why they have um, a beautiful transition very smoothly and, um, and it sounds great. Most of the songs are uh, beautiful because each chord, even if it's uh, a separate, uh, a separately chord, they still share some notes from previous chord or from for the next chord. So those uh, transition between chords are very interesting because it's like a, a door uh, between two rooms. So the the two rooms are connected through a door. This is how the principle of uh, how to uh, harmonize and um, and um, arrange uh, the chords is. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to have a look here and uh, analyze a little bit how the chords progression uh, are working. So we are in E flat major here, as you can see. Here is a chord F minor. Here is a B flat major chord for two beats. But it's a um, B flat uh, major with uh, minor seven. And the next bar, the first chord, which is on the first beat, the half, of course, because not all the notes, for instance, the intermediate notes, they don't need to be uh, harmonized, like from, for instance, here, this uh, intermediate note, they don't need only the, the, the beats, the, the first beat or a whole beat or, I mean, entire beat or uh, a half of the beat. For instance, here is a, a beat split in two uh, eighth notes. So only the first eighth notes will be harmonized here, not a, not the A. Now, this is the chord of C minor with a minor uh, seven. Here is the chord of G minor. Here is the chord of the B flat major. And here on the uh, fourth beat uh, is the E flat major. And the next bar, the third bar, we have a C minor. Um, yeah. I'm looking a little bit to see if I did something wrong. Uh, that's okay, yes. And here, the E flat uh, major with a minor seven. Um, and here on the third beat is the F minor with a minor seven. And here is a different chord, B flat major with a minor seven. And here we have the plagal cadence. Uh, Cadenza Plagal in Romanian, and uh, which is A flat major, ended with the chord of E flat major. Now, <clears throat> as you know, the first chord can go anywhere. So, the progression from one to two is absolutely Okay, so the first chord of any song can go anywhere. Now, um, so F minor uh, has some notes connected through the B flat major, minor 7, through F and uh, through A. So F minor, it is connected through B uh, major, through B flat major uh, minor seven, through A flat note and F note. Of course. 
Okay. Next chord. It is a B flat uh, major seven minor seven for two beats. So, the, but it's just the, the voice exchange a little bit um, here. It is a sustained B. It is sustained B. Um, this F. It is connected. Um, is uh, yeah. Now the B flat major minor seven is connected to C minor seven through sustained B from the previous chord from the B flat major minor seven. And um, I guess that's it. So C minor seven, and it's connected through the B note, B flat note. Next chord, the C minor seven will connect through the G minor through G note. B flat to E flat were I can go through this one too. As you can see, the connection from C minor, uh, minor seven through G minor is through G note and B note. Next chord, G minor through B flat major are connected through D, uh, through, I can say, this one, B flat, yeah, and, um, yeah, that's great. And here as well. Next, B flat major, it will become connected through the E flat major through sustain B flat to sustain B flat. Why? Because this is an um, uh, imperfect uh, cadence, imperfect cadence, all right? Next, is E flat major, it will be connected to this C e minor through G G. So this G board uh, board from the E flat and um, and from here as well and um, E flat from here will be connected as well to the next chord and um, I guess this is all for now for the moment next chord C minor will connect to A flat major through C sustain E flat sustain and um, that's all Next chord, A flat major with a minor seven will connect to F minor seven through A flat note and E flat note and C C. So as you notice, the F minor with a minor seven, it is connected from the previous chord, A flat major and minor seven, through those notes that are belonging from the previous chord, A flat, A flat, E flat, E flat, C and C. F minor uh, with the minor seven will be connected to the B flat major with the minor seven through F sustained through A flat note, A flat note, C to C, yeah. Um, of course, this it can be treated as a um, sometimes um, 
B flat uh, minor seven with um, a major nine as well. So the notes for the B flat major and the minor seven with the uh, major uh, nine will be uh, B flat, D flat, F flat, uh, A flat, and uh, B flat again, the, the octave, of course, and the C. Now, so to understand this B flat, uh, B flat major with a minor uh, seven, um, how it became connected to F minor, minor seven, uh, it's because of the uh, A flat note, which belongs in, which it is in F minor, and now as a third, and now becomes as a seventh to the B flat major. And the C note, which is the fifth of the F minor, becomes the ninth of the B flat uh, major. Okay. And the, um, the first note from the F minor becomes the fifth note of the B flat uh, major. Okay, minor seven. Now, B flat major connects to A flat major through C note. Uh, through C note and um, through A flat. So A flat major, it is connected from the previous chord uh, through A flat. So A flat in B flat major, it was the seven. Now the seven becomes uh, the first note of the, uh, the root of the A flat major. So the root is now and the C, which was the ninth from the B flat major, becomes the third, uh, the major third in A flat major. Now, the last chord, A flat major, will connect to E flat major through sustained E flat, and here through E flat in the bass. So, as you noticed, all the music, I mean, it is connected. If you look, for instance, in the left, they are connected from the uh, neighboring notes uh, on the, from the left. If you look on the right, it will help to uh, connect and to borrow some notes for the neighboring next. Uh, chord. Okay, so this is what a beautiful transition look like for a good uh, music uh, chord progression. Okay, I hope you understood how the music it, it is connected through the seven most of the uh, chords which have seven. They can go almost anywhere. Uh, as a conclusion, uh, as we know, the seven, the number seven, it is the God's number. And it's nice how God sometimes is putting people together. Well, that it is applied as well in the music, how the seven chords, yeah, they help other chords to be connected and sound so beautiful. I hope you, you like it, this uh, diagram, how the notes are connected and gives us a nice and smooth uh, chords progression.